for the past two, three weeks, we've been doing our Kings and Queens knowledge unit. We've been learning about like King Midas, uh, Snow White. Uh, we did six, uh, what is it? Sing a Song of Sixpence. We did Cinderella. So we've been going through all the different fairy tales and then comparing the fairy tales to the real lives of real kings and queens. So this is our culminating activity after we've just finished our testing, learning about kings and queens. So we're having our own royal ball. We learned some royal etiquette. We practiced doing uh, different slow dances together. So all of our friends got dressed up in their best royal clothes today. We have princes and kings. We have all different kinds of Disney princesses. So we're uh, working on our slow dancing and getting out some good dance moves in there too. <laughs> this is our ending activity to celebrate finishing our CKLA unit for Kings and Queens theme. I've really enjoyed it. It goes, the CKLA curriculum goes really deep into fairy tales. It goes into s different stories. It compares real life. It compares um, diff just different things that, uh, in, that are in history or in science. So it really is a full uh, culminating curriculum filled with everything. So I've really enjoyed that it fills all the different gaps that we might have. So I've enjoyed that. They've really enjoyed it. You know, we've been going over different, uh, with our vocab, we get to repeat them. We use them in um, small group activities. We act out the different words. So introducing them to like a higher vocabulary with also tying in stories that they've already heard of, comparing what they already know to what they want to learn about it. I think they've adapted well to the, the knowledge parts of it.